Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here, responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. Right now, I'm on your Facebook page, Realistic Innovations of Lincoln. I like on your cover photo how you show off the deck. It's, it's a nice piece of work. It's cool you show off a picture of your dog, too. One thing I recommend, though, in your profile pictures to have some kind of logo or brand on there to They'll let you let the, the users know that you are realistic innovations of Lincoln. Going down here too, it's good how um, a person could book appointments to go on your Facebook page. Whether well, there's deck standing and power washing, interior uh, paint, interior and exterior painting, stucco repair and replacement, and remodeling. Going down here even further, it's good how you post different pictures as well, showing off all the different work that you do. This is, these are some nice projects that you've worked on. It also engages with your users as well, too. And then going to the About section, it's good how people can message your page. One thing I'm not seeing is a phone number as well as a website. I'm going to show you how you can actually use a website to your advantage. So here's what happens when you search for stucco in Lincoln, Nebraska. See here, the first things that we see here is the map portion of Google. And the top three people here get the most traffic. So we got... Uh, Scott's Baldy Plastering and Stucco, J&K Plastering, and then West Plastering Inc. So we move past the map portion, then we get into the organic section. This is definitely where you want to own space. So we got yellow pages, Angie's List. Oh, there's Scott. So we're going to take a look at Scott's a little in a little bit. We're going to go that further down the rankings. Usually people actually pay to be on page one, but we're not seeing that here. So those are actually advertisements. They're renting that space. It's always better to own than it is to rent. So I'm going to show you some stats. So right here, page one gets 91.5% of Google traffic. If you see anything past page one, gets far, far significantly less than what you get on page one. If you're not, So if you're not on page one, it'll be much harder for people to find you there. In addition, 47% of the time people conduct a Google search. It is for a local business service. But even if you're on page one, not all traffic is created equal. It really matters what spot you have. So, as you see here, the top three spots get the most traffic. So you got 32.5% for spot one, spot two gets 17.6%, and then the third spot gets 11.4%. Then you see that very last spot, it only gets 2.4% of the traffic. So if you got a top three organic spot to go along with a top three map listing, you're going to get tons of traffic to coming your way to your website. The more website visitors you get, will lead to more phone calls, and in turn, more phone calls will lead to more customers and when you get more customers you can use that extra revenue to grow your business even further so let's take a look at scott's so you here they have a nice simple setup they got their logo right up here they got services like an about us some nice pictures mention all the stuff that they do it's like plastering and then, oh then they have a list of all the different projects they worked on too I'm going to show you a trick too. When you go into a Google search, you type in site colon and you place in a web URL. It tells you how many pages a website has across Google. So Scott's quality actually has 95 pages on the on Google search. It's 95 different ways people can find them. And the more pages you have, the better. Google favors those websites with more web uh, web pages. So going to the, like some of the things you could like, you definitely want to have service pages for on your website. But each of these should have its own page, so like plastering, stucco, power washing, and EIFs. So you can make that too, like for going back here on your website, like deck stating and power washing would have its own page, so painting, interior, and exterior, stucco repair and replacement, remodeling. Those could all have their own pages, and then you could do one for like residential and commercial services as well. And other things too, anytime you have a website, you always want to think to yourself what's the first action you want the user to take so it's always best to have a clickable phone number at the top left that's where a user's eyes always start and then if they see that phone number right right away they'll know to call you and then when they make their way to the right of the page you always want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email right above that contact form you want to say so they get a free quote or get a free estimate that'll give them more incentive to fill it out some things that Google looks for too, though, they want to make sure you have authoritative content on your homepage. So you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about the services you provide. So it looks like these guys have been around a long time, since 2002. So that's why the website gets that traffic. Google favors the elder statesman. 
And then for each service page, you want to have between 500 to 750 words. It doesn't look like these guys have like those word counts, but you can definitely one up them there. And then by having all these different services. And some other ways you could add more pages, as I mentioned, if you make a blog giving your thoughts and opinions on all the work that you do, they'll make you a thought leader in the space and you'll have a lot of valuable information regarding it. And the more valuable information you have, Google will rank you higher up. Whenever you type in a celebrity's name on Google, one of the first pages to appear is their Wikipedia page. And that's because Wikipedia has so much information on that celebrity from their career, personal life, their life before they were famous, and so on. And you can also make pages for each location you serve, too. So I'm sure you don't just serve Lincoln, but maybe Admiral, Fenton, Prairie Home, Arbor, Waverly, Raymond, and Malcolm. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. And you can have a gallery, kind of testimonials page as well. And while having great authoritative content is very necessary, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Though. You also need a thing called backlinks to write. So backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. No backlinks are created equal, some are more powerful than others. It's akin to being a new kid at a new school who's trying to get popular. Yes, you could have like the best looking site with the best content, but that alone is not enough to get popular. It takes time to win the votes and confidence of all your peers and the popular kids, Sim like just like the new kid. Except with websites, and Google's the judge of who the popular kids at the school are. So let's just say you put your website link onto a site, we'll call it homeimprovement.com, we'll say they're a top site in home improvement, and they gave you a follow, Google would see them and be like, oh, homeimprovement.com likes realistic innovations of Lincoln. We're going to move them up the right. And you want to find more and more of those popular sites than they go to. But if you put your website link onto a new site called johnsremodeling.com and they gave you a follow, Google would see them and be like, oh, a new kid vouching for another new kid? His opinion doesn't mean anything. We're going to keep him ranked where he is. And here's a tool I like to use called Ahrefs. So here's an overview of Scott's quality. So right now they don't have anything in their headline, but like if you were to make a headline for your website, you could say something like stucco, repair, remodeling. And yeah, and plastering in Lincoln, Nebraska. And it looks like they appear on nine keyword searches, and they only have four backlinks. And we can check out to see where their backlinks are from, and you can link up to those same sites. So let's go look at some of their keywords they rank for. So, like quality plaster could be a good keyword to rank for, and plastering stucco, like pl quality plaster search 40 times a month. Well, this Burger King, that's probably a location they worked on. Like plastering stucco is definitely another keyword as well. Let's see other ones. So definitely, like, yeah, those, uh, like, deck staining and power washing definitely would have those be in those keyword searches. Uh, interior painting, exterior painting, stucco repair, stucco replacement, remodeling, so on. Take a look at some of their backlinks, too. It's like their only backlink is on yellow pages. That's definitely a site you want to be linked up to. I guess then there's a keyword suggest tool. You can get one from there as well, too. And then I'd recommend, too, put in, getting a website link from your local chamber of commerce as well. That would definitely help with uh, with getting you ranked a little higher, too. And another thing to ranking, too, you need to call citations for to rank in the maps portion of Google. And a citation is the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you always want to make sure... And you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations in your competition. You can actually put a citation on your Facebook page. But sometimes having way more citations in your competition won't always leapfrog in the rankings. But what will help is if you build up your website with lots of authoritative content as well as finding a lot of valuable backlinks. If you have that high powered website to go along with all those citations, then you're going to be ranking way ahead of your competition in the mapped portion of Google. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.